Hi, everybody. It is Friday, April the 17th. Even before COVID-19, there has been a small segment of our population who um, are either homeless or precariously housed or need a little bit of extra help. Uh, uh, Simcoe County is the one that delivers the social services for us, and they do that through a local provider, Contact Community Services, who delivers those services for South Simcoe. And with me today is Emily from South Simcoe. And Emily, welcome. And please, Thank could you. you tell me a little bit about what type of services are avail available right now, particularly when uh, people might be feeling the pinch even a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. So Contact Community Services has been providing services in South Simcoe for the past 40 years. Our main mandate is to actually listen to community need and respond accordingly. So we are the local housing resource center for South Simcoe. So if you have any kind of housing issues, we assist with landlord tenant mediation. Um, sometimes we can access um, financial supplements for rental supplements for people who are unable to afford their housing. Um, we assist people with housing searches. Uh, and we also run a housing first program for those people who have experienced homelessness. Um, we also provide employment supports. So we would work with anybody who is looking to find meaningful employment. We do interview skills, job coaching, and we would match them with employers uh, locally who are looking to uh, fulfill that labor gap. Uh, in addition to that, we also provide volunteer services. So we do uh, the community volunteer income tax clinic. So we provide free income tax filing for persons on low income. We can do multi-year filings and we actually facilitate that service year round because we know that that's important to often obtaining the other financial supports from government. Um, in addition to that, we run a New Horizons Seniors Program. And in the past, we have involved uh, seniors connecting with other seniors through County of Simcoe subsidized housing units uh, and doing a crafting program. And with the COVID-19 environment, we have now pivoted that program. That's great. And I know you reached out for us uh, to us not too long ago, and we were pleased to be able to support you with uh, some extra funding um, right now. So if a resident of Innisfil wanted to access your services, how would they do so, Emily? So the easiest way is just to call our main line uh, and access our staff directory. Anybody can leave a message for our staff team, um, given we are all working remotely, so we have no offices open to the public. Um, as a result, anybody can call our uh, directory, leave a message, and they will receive a call back within that day. Um, I would just uh, caution people that we have private numbers coming up because my staff team currently is using their personal cell phones, um, and that will be changed to a contact line, but that's still in the works. Mm -hmm. So certainly anybody is encouraged to reach out. Um, I would love to speak a little bit about this COVID-19 Community Response Fund uh, that has been initiated. So this is a really exciting opportunity um, for contacts to really meet the needs of the community, but it would not be without the leadership of our local councils. So the uh, town of Innisfil, the town of New Tecumseh, and the town of Bradford, West Willembury have all contributed an amount so that we can provide um, urgent needs funding to anybody who has been adversely affected by COVID-19. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for being here with us today and for providing that extra support. Um, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, I know it's even harder on the weekends to follow all of the new rules. We still have a fire ban uh, on for the time being. Keep that social distancing up and please stay home if you can. It looks like Mother Nature's uh, helping out and persuading us that we need to do this. It doesn't look like the weather's going to be that great this weekend, but uh, do try to get a little time off the screen and, uh, and we'll talk to you on Monday.